Jitsa Elect Pure Steam Quality Testing System Adopts the HTM2031 and ISO EN285 standards to meet the new 2023 GMP guidelines and provides reliable and effective testing for non-condensable gases, superheat and dryness values, as well as pure steam condensate sampling. The 53 SQTK Pure Steam Quality Testing System includes Non-condensable gas test device Thermocouple thermometer Electronic balance Vacuum flask 316 LP tow tube Condensate sampler and other connecting fittings. The Pure Steam Quality Test System is easy to operate, portable, and suitable for on-site installation and use in a variety of operating environments. The Pure Steam Testing Program includes tests for non-condensable gases, superheat and dryness values, and the system also includes a condensate sampling device. Open the carrying case. Install the tripod and the non-condensable gas unit. Connect the condensate drain tube. Cooling water drain tube. Cooling water inlet tube. Connect the drain valve. Connect the steam hose. Connect the elbow pipe to the steam hose. Then open the steam valve to discharge the condensate and excess gas from the piping. After discharging, connect the hose to the non-condensable gas device. Use a bucket to fill half a bucket of cooling water. Place the bucket higher than the top of the non-condensable gas device to form a pressure difference, and then use a syringe to draw water from the cooling water outlet pipe to circulate the cooling water. After the cooling water circulates, open the steam pipe valve, and then slowly open the steam control valve on the top of the non-condensable gas device. Condensate will come out of the small measuring cylinder on the right and the temperature on the upper left display will rise. Adjust the temperature to between 70 to 75 degrees, and then turn off the switch on the top of the small measuring cylinder. When it reaches the zero scale, turn off the switch on the large measuring cylinder on the left. When the condensate in the large measuring cylinder reaches 100, Observe how much the small measuring cylinder drops. Divide the amount of condensate collected by the large measuring cylinder by the amount of small measuring cylinder drops to get the non-condensable gas content. According to the regulations, the non-condensable gas content needs to be less than or equal to 3.5%. Superheat The following is a superheat test. Select the corresponding pitot tube according to the steam pipe pressure. Connect the pitot tube to the elbow pipe. Insert the probe into the middle of the black insulation pipe. Connect the insulation pipe to the pitot tube. Open the steam pipe valve to the maximum. Thermometer. Buttons include on off key, back light. Maximum, minimum average value switch and lock screen button. After the steam is turned on, measure the steam pipe temperature and the superheated steam temperature in the black insulation pipe. When the temperature in the black insulation pipe is stable, record the steam temperature at the local atmospheric pressure, and then subtract the boiling temperature of water at the local atmospheric pressure to get the superheat. When reading, the temperature in the steam pipe also needs to be recorded. According to the requirements, the superheat should be less than or equal to 25 degrees Celsius. Dryness Value Test The vapor dryness value will be measured at the same measurement point after the superheat test is finished. Place the balance steadily, 
press the power button and turn on the machine. Weigh the empty bottle. Measure 650 ml plus or minus 50 ml of cool purified water below 27 degrees Celsius with a measuring cup or a measuring cylinder. Pour it into the vacuum bottle. Weigh the weight after adding water. Measure the initial temperature of the water. Connect the rubber hose to the pitot tube. Open the pipeline steam valve to the maximum position. Heat the temperature of the water in the vacuum bottle to 80 degrees. Shake the bottle during heating to heat the water evenly. Another thermometer measures the average temperature of the steam pipe. Weigh the heated water. Measure the temperature of the heated water. The steam dryness value can be calculated by using the dryness value formula and substituting the measured value into the measured value. According to the regulations, when extinguishing metal loads, the pure steam dryness value should not be less than 0.95, and when extinguishing other loads, the pure steam dryness value should not be less than 0.90.